What is up guys, it is Robert of Movies with me and welcome to the Maze Runner movie review. In anticipation for, obviously, Maze Runner The Death Cure, I thought I'd review Maze Runner and Maze Runner The Scorch Trials. So uh, here we are with Maze Runner. This movie was directed by Wes Ball, which actually uh, reviewed Scorch Trials and is also directing Death Cure. And it stars Dylan O'Brien and Will Poulter and a lot more other people. Uh, I say Will Poulter specifically, I'll tell you why in a little bit, but... Uh, basically, I won't have any uh, spoilers in this review because I did not really know anything about the, this whole series, to be honest, because I was I wanted to see The Death Cure. And so I said, all right, well, let's check out uh, 1 and 2, see how it is. I know this is like a storied franchise and stuff, so I was like, all right, let's check it out. And um, guys, I really fucking enjoyed Maze Runner. I think I had a lot of fun with this movie. Like, it, it's great, man. <laughs> like, I was watching this, and my attention was 100% set on just – this whole world, this whole mini world, technically it's like a mini world because there's not a big world. Basically, again, no spoilers, but the movie starts immediately with you following Dylan O'Brien. This whole movie is you following Dylan O'Brien. You're basically the perspective of the perspective of him. What he finds out stuff, you find out stuff, and I like that a lot. Like basically, for instance, the fir- the second the the movie starts, it's just the elevator climbing up, and it's Dylan O'Brien first waking up. And like puking and, and he's just sick. He's like, what the fuck is going Where the fuck am I? What the fuck is going on? And the elevator opens and welcome to this giant garden sort of thing. But there's also a lot of walls. You're surrounded by walls. Uh, very massive ones that you, you can't go on top of. And now he has to just try to find out what the fuck is going on. And it's very interesting because again, you really want to find out what is in this maze because you find out there's a maze and the only people that go into that maze are the maze runners the runners and basically he's like but why only the runners you know he wants to find out he's and like he he actually at one point is about to go inside and will Poulter just shoves him and he's like and he tells him he's like no one goes in there and then he's like i saved your life that i deserve it thank you you know and what i gotta say is will Poulter. Damn, dude, he's a fantastic actor. Because from this, the Maze Runner, to I also saw, I remember I first saw him were the Millers, but then his best performance easily, Detroit. This guy has range. Like, he can do characters. Like, it's incredible. Like, in Detroit, he is a disgusting, menacing cop. And he is just fantastic in that role. And he is great in this role, too. He is does a great job in the Maze Runner. I definitely... I give him huge props. He's, to me, one of the best young actors right now in, in the industry. I'm with, Every time now I see Will Poulter, I'm actually pretty excited to see what he does uh, in the future and stuff. Dylan O'Brien really does his role justice. He does a great job. And the whole thing is that basically he's, again, he learn, he remembers certain things. Like you, basically everyone there doesn't remember anything, but he remembers a tiny bit thing, which is his name. And so that's pretty big for people to be like, whoa, holy shit. He knows his name. Thomas. Thomas. And there's one boy. My name is Thomas. My name is Thomas. And I like that part a lot. Once we actually go into the maze, again, I'm not going to tell you what is in there because I love the the suspense, the the very questioning, the question, the mystery of, of what's in this maze, what is going on around it, and who's doing all this kind of stuff. And you do get questions, more questions, and there are answers to this movie, which is nice. And, uh, I liked it a lot, man. I really, really fucking enjoyed it. It's a really good thriller that I just didn't expect. I totally thought these movies were trash. I could have sworn people were like, nah, they're garbage. No, I thought this was great. I was watching this and my attention was so grabbed. I like not for one second did I want to like just look at my phone or something. Like I was glued to the fucking TV. It's a great movie and I definitely recommend checking it out. Overall, I'm going to give The Maze Runner an 8 out of 10 it's a great movie i definitely recommend checking it out and anticipate for, in anticipation for the death cure if you haven't seen it you know i'm on board this series is pretty damn cool i'm going to be watching scorch trials in like a week or two and then we got to the, the death cure so that's pretty damn awesome and yeah i mean like i said i really enjoyed this movie a lot the action scenes are really well directed like this is a well directed movie there's not like a ton of shaky cam there's some shaky cam stuff but it works for the most part. Like there are parts in the movie where I'm like, yeah, this is really well directed. I'm I'm very happy about this. And so, yeah. And that means also Disney owns this pretty soon, right? 
cool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below. Did you like the Maze Runner? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know down in the comments below. And are you excited for the Death Cure? Let me know. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.